rocky power. Once in a while, he'll watch my show and say, oh, I like your hair, I like your hair. I'm like, wow, it's still there. But one day he was listening to a radio newscast and he heard news that completely transformed the direction of his life. And so here with me tonight is the founder and director of Street Nizers uh, Ministry Youth Resource Center, Mr. Juvenaris Chalo. Karibu sana. Thank you very much. Can you believe we are here? <laughs> and shake. And shake. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Can you believe you are here? Yeah, Even right. me here talking to you like this. I, mm? I think we don't know how things unfold. No, and we don't. And it's good to be good. Yes. Nah, as the saying goes, Tenda Wema, yeah. Nenda Zako. Mm. Good intro. Hey, Our celebrity has Celebrity stylist. hair. Like, if you did not have a, an appointment with this guy, yes. by the way, your hair was not hair. It was that simple. Yeah, it was that simple. Yeah. And uh, I think I've maintained that. Yeah. Even what I'm doing. Yes. And I'm glad to be here. Ah, you and are. And thank amazing. you for hosting me. Oh, I'm so glad yeah. you said yes to an invitation <laughs> because, you know, I just sat like this one, one of these mornings. I just wake up and I said, wait a minute. Uh -huh. So your name was just dropping my spirit. And I said, wait, Juvenaris. Yeah, that's a story that needs to be told in this day and age. Mm -hmm. Because you're on this career path and you yes. are darn good at it. And Very good. good. You Very have, good. Hey, your fingers are for hair. Very good. <laughs> hey! Mm, very and good. Then, uh -huh. And then one day, the next thing I hear from you, I think I had called to book for an appointment and you said to me, no, 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 I'm not doing hairdressing anymore. Uh, so now I'm taking care of, of street families boys, yes. and, and street boys. And uh -huh. I said, huh? And you explained that and I'm like, what? So, so here we are. So I know part of your story. Of course, you have grown since mm -hmm, we last conversed mm -hmm. many years ago. But let's just start with that one day. And I'll go to your background later. But let's start with that one day. You're busy making someone's hair and you hear news or you hear something in the radio. What was it? Yes. Uh, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. in, in life, mm -hmm. when you look like you've achieved some things, you're put down by others. you brought down. So with my celebrity stylist, I remember very well. I was listening to the radio station mm -hmm. and I had a discussion of boys who were in this, that station yeah. and they needed some help. And because of this compassion, I said, let me try to help them. Yeah. Kumbe, that was the beginning. And I made a phone call. Mm -hmm. I called the person who was there with the boys. Yeah. And immediately after the, the interview, yeah. just like this one we're having yeah. today, we met with the boys. When I met them yeah. in a place we were eating some, some, some lunch, mm -hmm. I looked at them and something was asking me, mm. if you go with these boys, you say that you'll cut their hair for, three, for one year. What will be the next move? How will you get them from the streets? And reflecting on where I come from, who I was yeah. many years ago, yeah. this is you. Do something bigger than cutting their hair, shaving their hair. Yeah. And that is how it all began. My goodness. Yeah, that's how it all began. So you were meeting them to offer one year uh, yes, free service. haircuts? Yes, Yes. And then it was not just that. Mm, you wondered, I okay. I'll shape their hair. Yeah. Then where will I get them after probably a month? Yes. And they are from the streets. Uh -huh. So that day you went to your home with them? That day. That day. I went. I looked for a house. I paid. And I kept them in a small house in a place called Kangemi. My goodness. Then there were three boys. Three boys. Yes. yes. And they were with the, this famous uh, MC Jesse. Okay. Yes. Eish. And then, so how did that, <laughs> that one day, listening to a news, you know, um, a conversation on radio that changed your life, and I know hairdressing was your passion, you are so good at it. At what point did you decide, you know what, this is now my calling, let me now leave this and move here? I, I'll probably rewind it a bit. Yes, please. You, in the same time, I had lost my baby. Mm a baby boy mm -hmm. and in that aspect of losing a baby boy and you are newly married mm -hmm. and you're newly born again mm -hmm. there was a vacancy there was a void in me yes. i needed something to feel that so meeting the boys and asking myself i've lost a baby i'm so young in marriage and uh, i'm here i'm one of the best hairdressers in kenya something needs to fill that space and that's how the boys, uh, when I had the boys in the studio, that's yeah. how they came in. Yeah. And I was like, this is something that is going to fill my voidness, yes. my emptiness. Mm. And uh, poop. It filled. It filled. I started feeling that particular time, I started feeling, yes, yeah. do this. These are three boys. God has given you three boys. Yes. You've lost one, but God has already given you three. Three. How do I start? Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Mm -mm. I just thought, let me get a house for them and mm. keep them. Mm. And that's how it began. 
So how did you have that conversation with your wife at that time? Mm -hmm. That uh, I have three boys and we are taking them in. First, mm -hmm. there are some things you don't talk. Okay. Remember, we are healing yeah. from losing of a baby boy. Yeah. So there is no way I could have sat down with my wife that particular time and discuss it. I opted to get a house away from where we are and keep quiet for once because it is me who is feeling it. She might not be feeling the way I'm feeling, however much we are together. So it was me who was feeling the voidness, yeah. the emptiness. Yeah. So I couldn't share with her, I couldn't share with anybody. It's me who had it. Mm -hmm. And I decided, let me keep quiet because yes. I keep saying, silence is golden. Uh -huh. yeah. So you kept quiet for a period of how long? I, okay. She knew that there's something going on. <laughs> of course. And people knew that. that because of my status, because of my celebrity status. Mm. People knew there's something going on. But I didn't keep talking. Even I don't think I shared with you. Either. Yes, no. I kept being quiet because yeah. it's good to deal with some things alone. Privately. And especially if you hear God telling you to do something, yeah. you don't need to go out there shouting. Ooh. You, you keep quiet. I kept quiet for some time. For some time. I know eh? it's for some time. Yeah. Wow. So you are taking care of these boys, making sure they are fed, yes. they are clean, 